Let's go with John Fogarty and run through the jungle with G.I. Joe Classified Shadow Tracker. here we are welcome back to the channel and today we're going to look at shadow tracker from gi joe classified series as you can see down here he is a cobra right here let's see what's it say it says cobra cobra shadow tracker yep you got your hasbro sign there you got his accessories this side you got a QR code and I did do the unimaginable I scanned the QR code and what a mistake it was what a mistake it was so when I scanned that it took me to a Hasbro page and it you could play a Furby game or you could play Scrabble did not mention one thing about GI Joe or GI Joe classified series action figures nothing so uh, Hasbro really dropped the ball on that. That could have taken us to the history of Shadow Tracker or anything. It could have been anything. But we play a Furby game? Furby? Come on. But anyways, as you can see, he's 108 in the series. Did I show that side there? Shadow Tracker 108. Um, the top, you just have G.I. Joe. And the back, it's pretty cool. It shows some up-close effects on the figure and then uh yeah shows his height there's a scale there he's saying he's 6.4 inches so if you're interested in height of action figures he's 6.4 inches of course this is a 112th scale line classified classified line is uh, down at the bottom we have uh warnings and copyrights and what have you so let's get him open. Get our trusty knife. We'll open from the bottom today. Why not? Why not? Because I do save all my boxes. I don't want to rip this. So I get in there and pry it out. There we go. Got it pried out. Not familiar with Shadow Tracker. Not familiar at all. I don't believe he was ever in a cartoon. He could have been in a comic that I'm not sure of. A later comic, not the early comics. There's the package. Set that to the side. But, um, yeah, not not an early comic. Uh, they did have an um, action figure back in, I believe, 2011. Um, there was a line called G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra. And... Um, he was in that line. Of course, that was three and three quarter inch. But other than that, I really don't know no history on um, Shadow Tracker. So here's his foot locker. Got the Cobra emblem. We can see he's 108. Uh, bottom, there we go. Shadow Tracker. Cobra Shadow Tracker. So same as all the other foot lockers. Get this open without tearing it. And we do have, again, those directions that we don't need. We'll put that back in the box. Set the box to the side. And in our parchment paper. That's a big parchment paper. Let's get our scissors. I'll cut a little bit of that. See if that's enough to get all our... Oh, there they are. Oh, wait a minute. We got one more. Careful with this parchment paper. You don't want to throw something away. If you're ever a, a collector, you want to make sure you have all your stuff. Because imagine in 50 years, you can show, show your friends and family... Uh, these action figures and you still have all the accessories. Could you imagine having all the accessories of every GI Joe you ever had back in the eighties? Wow. All right, let's take a look at the accessories. First, we got a bow. Looks like a compound bow. 
really nice. Not ton. Of, it has detail on it, but not a lot of paint. But why would you need paint? All black's good with me in the jungle. Uh, we have an axe. We have a backpack with some arrows in it. That's nice. I like that. And it looks like there's a clip there. If you can see that, your uh, bow might be able to hang on to that. Or clip to it, I should say. Uh, we do have one loose arrow. A little bent. I don't know if you can see that. that we could probably get that straightened out if we really wanted to. We have... Look at this knife. Yep. And then we have whatever that is. I'm not sure. We'll have to play with that, find out. Looks like a handle. Maybe. Not sure. And then we have what's really cool. We have his masks. Now that was the mask that the three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra had on. That yellow mask. And then we have this mask. Look at that. Amazing. I really like that. Yes. So that's our accessories. Let's turn him around and see what we have. I'll let you get the first look. There he is. Shadow Tracker. How's it look? Let's see. Oh, wow. He looks really good. Jeez, got a lot of detail. Let's get him out of here. I'm excited now. This is amazing. Now, Shadow Tracker, from what I've learned, it looks like he don't have any guns. So he's a he's a jungle tracker or maybe a, a hunter. But... Yeah, he's jungle warfare, and it looks like he likes the old style of uh, killing, if you will. And here we go with this awesome back to those Hasbro classified line. That is great. I love that. I mean, if you're just going to make a box, and if you're going to paint that red or black, why not just put, a, put something like that on there? I love it. Great job by Hasbro. Great job. All right, here he is. Right away, I'm looking at a necklace hanging on his neck. It's got, looks like, teeth. You can see his skin behind that mask. But man, I would like to see this guy's real face, if he's got a real face. Look at the, look at the dreadlocks. It does look a lot like the uh, Shadow Tracker from 2011. So let's go through articulation. Head, does he look up? Not... Nah. A lot does look down pretty good head won't go all the way around if I forced it that long hair there gets in the way but he's got pretty good movement there as you can see uh, arms he does have these shoulder flaps on there not getting a lot of movement out of his shoulders I don't know if it's just because he's stiff oh there we go I think I had it twist it around a bit so he's got a really good t-pose once you mess with it you got to turn your arms just right to get that t-pose like that let's see his arm it does go all the way around he's got a upper arm cut he's got no elbow cut he's got double jointed elbows pinless double jointed elbows wrists go they move a little bit but he's got these gloves on so you're not getting a lot of movement out of the wrist a little bit uh hands we have one a tr one trigger finger which he doesn't even have a gun so I'm not sure why he has a trigger finger i guess if you wanted to give him a gun you could so he actually has two trigger fingers on each hand plus he can draw back his bow with that with that finger probably all right back to articulation waist good movement he i think he ha yeah he has an ab crunch under there now this vest on here is not sculpted on it's not part of the mold so 
I don't think you're ever going to get that off, but that's really cool that they put that on top of there. Look at that. I could have been easily molded to it, but it's not. He does have this little bit of a, I don't know what you would call that, back of the shirt. Um, let's see. He's getting some good splits and good straddles both. He's got... Let's see, a thigh cut, yep, and it that cut is hidden by this pads, or this one looks like it could be a could be a holster to hold something. Uh, knees double jointed, pinless knees, very stiff, like most of our classifieds are. But you get them babies broke up, and you're looking good. Ankles, he will. He will, I repeat, pirouette. Do, 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 do. So he can pirouette. Uh, he's on a, is he on a rock? He is on a rocker. His foot is on a rocker. And no ar no toe articulation. Which that's okay. We don't need toe articulation. But yeah, overall, I really like this character. I wish I knew a backstory on him better. Oh, he does have a boot cut, too, of course. Standard classified uh, articulation, I guess I should say, but really good. I want to see about these, these masks. So I got this yellow mask, which I showed. I'm going to... That will... Oh, it actually stays on there. I just pushed it on. It's not strapped or anything, but it did stay on. And man, he looks good with that. Looks really good. Let's take that one off. And we'll put the other mask on. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. I think I like this one better. Look at that. Unbelievable. So this guy here looks really good. Man, this could be one of my favorite Joes yet. Fabulous job really enjoyed this one this is really surprising did like i said didn't know much backstory on shadow tracker but whew, man i like it it is full of detail you put him on your shelf people are going to flock to this one who is that they're going to say and you can say that's cobra shadow tracker so yeah so until next time oh yeah